Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to some new Spyro Reignited Trilogy footage. Finally, finally after all this time, we now can see Spyro 2, Get Wetted Glimmer slash Ripto's Rage, depending on where you happen to be born. And let me tell you, we've got some very extensive footage. Um, this entire clip, this entire however long I make this video, uh, at least the first 12 minutes of it is purely new gameplay. I might go over and repeat it. I'm literally doing this like one take. I've actually never uh, seen the footage apart from about, I saw a bit of Zoe and um, you know, and I saw like a little bit of the level, but this is basically a live kind of reaction video-ish thing. And I'll tell you what I think. Um, I am, and like I said, it's about a lot of things. I know people are probably tired of my, uh, you know, like not, you know, what's the word, like centrist view. I, I mostly like it. Um, there's things I like. There's things I don't like. Talking about Foreman Bob here, I like Foreman Bob. I think they've done a pretty good job with these guys. I feel like they've they've captured their. Uh, you know, look for the most part. Um, in the original games, they felt more blocky and stuff like that, which I don't really view, um, you know, I guess, I, I, you know, you got to take it from the time of, you know, when they made it, of course, it was always going to be more blocky. Although I kind of wonder if that was maybe part of the aesthetic uh, because, you know, they're like, you know, foreman and, you know, they're, they're, they're construction worker type stuff. So I don't know. But um, looking at it here, I think that one thing they could probably improve on is perhaps the time of day lighting. I feel like they could maybe make it a bit uh, later in the day. Um, I haven't seen the skybox yet, but that's just like first kind of first general impressions of it. But I think that, you know, um, level design wise and stuff like that, you know, I think they've done a, a decent job. Um, I like the interpretation. Um, I know that some people were saying, I'll point this out in a sec, some people were pointing out with one of the challenges that they've kind of raised the roof or raised the, the platforms a little bit, um, you know, the kind of the, the scenery to make it a little bit more, uh, you know, closed in. I wonder why that's a design choice, like I'm not entirely sure exactly what the logic is there, but I will accept it because, I mean, you know, I kind of have to, don't I? Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not overly critical about that. Um, believe it or not, you know, being around in this, you know, the Spyro community for so long, I think people expected me to be a lot more, like, critical about certain elements of it, but I think that, you know, and like, they've, they've had this moral sort of philosophical-esque debate with Ratchet 5 about this quite a lot, but like, the thing is, is that, I think that whatever I think about like the business side of things, I mean, from a purely entertainment perspective, I'm looking to be entertained. And at the very least, even covering this stuff is entertaining. I just hope that playing the game will be as entertaining and it, you know, it'll, it'll play right and, and everything. And uh, so far it's looking, you know, again, mostly pretty good. Um, so yeah, Foreman Bud there, everyone's starting with a B as they point out. This is commentary, uh, the commentary in the background uh, in the original video is from PlayStation Underground. Um, I want you guys to go and check out that video and listen to the developers talk there as well because I feel like you should go to the original source because they, they worked hard to you know put the video out and make it and everything like that. Um, I don't want to just re-upload that. Um, I understand people do that, but I think that I think you've got to provide new commentary, otherwise you are kind of just straight ripping from the source. Um, yeah, telling this video was an actual, actual, for some reason, a nightmare, probably because it's, uh, there's like a 60 FPS version, and I'm still unclear, like, is this game actually going to be in 60 and not 30? For me, it's going to be a nightmare to upload LP parts and stuff, but you know what, we'll, we'll get over it. All right, so now we've got this little challenge here, the Foreman Bud uh, Fish Challenge. And uh, let's see how this actually plays. Um, I'm not a giant fan of the HUD. I like the simplicity of the original HUD. The kind of colors that they've gone there, it's kind of different to what they want. You know, they originally went, I, they kind of gone for a blue sort of thing. It's okay, like it's not, it's not the worst, but it's definitely, I don't know, it's like kind of a more modern style that I don't like as much. Anyway, this is cool though. I think that, the, yeah, you know, obviously, hey, it's, it's, doing, it's doing it pretty easy. Gee, this is pretty flawless effort here. Now, look, when you look over at the wall there, look in the top sort of left, you'll see that it's quite, it's much higher than the original one. I'll probably do a comparison video at some point. Um, I guess it depends on the angle that you look at it. One thing that isn't considered with a lot of this is that, you know, with Spyro in the, you know, the new era, 
you know, the, the PS4 era, uh, eighth gen, you'll notice that, you know, like you can look up and down and stuff like that in, you know, and you couldn't really do that unless you did like a specific uh, kind of view. So I feel like that does alter, you know, the, the playing space and, and, and that's might be one of the reasons why things have changed a little bit more. Now, I'm looking to see a five gem actually because it feels like the gems are a bit like darker, like the red ones are a bit darker here. Um, now the idols, I think, I'm a, I'm a fan of the idols actually. I think that they've done a good job with the idols and also there's an excellent expression on our little friend's face here. That's very nice, I like that. I like the detail, there is some nuance in that. There is some nuance in that. Shout out to my boy Nguyen Tox. Um, there you go break it down oh look at the particles how they explode yep so that's cool now this is zoe and i'm gonna get like a screenshot of this a bit later i do not like zoe unfortunately guys apologies um to anyone that does i think that they've made her look like a conservative nanny um to be honest like i think that that's the, the thing and look i mean i think the thing is is that what's happened is i mean i'm not going to go into some gigantic ramp but i feel like it's a it's a product of the fact that they would think that uh, Zoe originally is too raunchy. Now we all know what uh, good old Ted Price, uh, some of the his fairy comments back in the day from as per Oliver Wade. I'm not I'm not going to repeat them. I'll let you uh, look them up yourself. But um, I don't yeah I don't really like the idea that we can't actually like like you know we got to be really careful. Like look at it. I mean it's it's like it is night and day. The difference in terms of like you know the fact that she's like got like a massive long skirt i'm not like, like some freaking pervert or something like that but i do think that yeah i think that it needed to be uh, shorter and that, there's a gem right there yep okay nice 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 and they are obviously the other shape as well cool very cool um this area is nice in theory but again with the lighting i think it needs to be a, be a little bit more of a cool mood you know like as in cool as in color tone mood but that's just me um, yeah, see, look, there she is there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, like, it's just... Yeah, it's a bit too, like, Game of Thrones fantasy kind of stuff. That's that's the kind of... That's probably my, my main critique of it. But the enemies, very good. Oh, nice. Look, you see, just got, went flying. No, enemies I like. Basically, you know, with um, the fact that we've got, like, you know, modern, you know, it, it not just sort of flat ground and there's grass everywhere, a lot of them would look more jungly. And that's what some of the guys in Spyro Reddit and Spyro Discord were saying. We were talking about that. And, um, yeah, I do agree with that 100%. That, that's, the, that's kind of the vibe I get, that they, they like... You know, everything sort of looks a bit more jungly. I think that, yeah, if they can get the tone, if they can sort of make it a little bit more of a reddish kind of thing, I know that's like, you know, obviously a nitpick, but that's probably my main thing, takeaway I get from like the overall vibe of the level. Um, for the most part, I do, you know, as I said, enjoy it. Now, this is the last challenge here. We've got uh, a couple more and then, how, how does that one even work? I don't, you know what? A lot of the time, yeah, okay, so I know that that's a triangle and then that's a triangle, the last one, right? But I forgot how one of them actually worked. I just, yeah, whatever. Anyway, nice seamless load back to Foreman Bud's little secret area. Very cool. So this is like a full run through of the level, basically. I mean, it's not 100%, but it's, yeah. Okay, orb, orb. Okay, what the hell is this? No, um, hold up. Hmm. It, it, but, but, yeah, well, should it, shouldn't it be more green? I would say it should be more green, right? Like it kind of, yeah. You know you know what? Insane Trilogy had a similar problem because it's like a lot of the gems were like almost too shiny. Okay, that was interesting. I think that they should, I honestly think that they should should make it like bounce to you, um, to be honest. I, yeah, I think that would honestly be better um, than that. I think that, yeah, like, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. As I said, I like this. You look at looking around at the level design like that. I like the temple and stuff like that. I think they've done a good job. Um, the vases, 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 uh, in like chests. Interesting. A, a, a change, a change from the original, but uh, not necessarily a bad one. I do like the waterfall. I do like. I do like this section. I just feel like again. Um, it just needs to, the contrast and stuff like that needs to be bumped up a touch and at least to feel like it's it's later in the day. Um, for some reason, I actually kind of get a bit of a, a Rayman vibe, particularly a Rayman 3 vibe, I would say, yeah, for the most part. What was he doing there? Okay, you cheeky, oh, jeez. Now look, look at that, see, there was like a Spyro icon at the bottom there that sort of when he got zapped by Zoe, you see that? Yeah, 
I might uh, after this video. This is this is this is classic Chris Fisher here, just making stuff up on the spot. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll might go back and target some stuff. Yeah, I do love it. I do love looking around and stuff. When it, when it's like when you slow down and actually look at the design, I actually enjoy it a lot more than when you're just running through. Like there is definitely. I really do hope they do have some kind of photo mode in this game. Uh, I think that would be a great idea. So yeah, in here, you know, for example, that's what I do is I'd, I'd dimly, I'd lit, light it more dimly, you know, to kind of make it, it feel like a truly different section because it did like that in the original game. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, see, look, see how that dra the dragon starts running? Yeah. All right, so now, oh, and there's another one, the vases. Yep. We will analyze things a little bit more in detail later. I hope I can actually sort of make a video here. Oh, here we go, the end of level. Nope, he's not even getting, oh, he's not even getting over there. Devastating. All right, gliding. Now, have we have we seen done a hover yet? Let's. Oh, he didn't. He didn't. Notably, did not show off the hover. But I feel like they've changed the uh, like gliding animation a touch as well. Anyway, here's Hula Girl Stella. Again, guys, emphasis on going and checking out the original video if you want to uh, hear you know, some of the voices and even the background music, which sounds not too bad. I'm sort of jumping a little bit uh, you know, more in kind of general with the, the marketing. I am curious as to why they've just like, just sort of really Spyro 2 just like this. I hope we still actually get like a proper trailer at Comic-Con. I think that that would be the right decision. And oh my God. Brutal. Look at that. Just destroyed. She would have died a painful death, guys. Like that's just just be honest about it. Like let's not let's not beat around the bush here. Let's not beat around the proverbial bush. Um anyway, thank you, Hooligal Stella. So yeah, orb here. Okay, they do this big particle effect, but then it doesn't even look uh green. See it looks green in the icon. I think, why don't you make it like more green like that? I guess, yeah, realistic lighting or realistic um you know, particles and stuff like that. That's that's exactly a reason why I'm not as much of a fan of it. So, yeah, these guys are all celebrating, or girls are all celebrating. Well, I call guys girls. I, when I say like one of the guys, I'm always I'm pretty much always saying like the guys are girls. You know, at least in like our little our little group, the OG Wolf Pack. Um, and there we go. Thanks again to PlayStation Underground. This was captured on a PS4 Pro. So that's interesting to note. All right, so I'm just gonna go through things one more quick little time, one little quick little peep time, and just point out some of the stuff I liked as well, and then we'll wrap it up. So I like the fact that they've obviously retained the original level flag, that's looking very good, and the enemy, uh, oh sorry, our friend, this Foreman Bob is not an enemy, he is a friend, he's an ally, I love him. I also write quite enjoy, yeah, as I've said, the Tiki, I think the Tikis are looking good. They've got this really disgusted look on their face, you know, like they think they own the place. Then we have uh, the Skybox up there. Not quite a fan of that yet. I hope that that is going to be tweaked. I hope that they can make it a bit more vibrant and fun because, I mean, that's just how it, you know, that's, that's how it should look if you ask me. It should be a bit more, a bit more red, a bit more fun. Then we have this waterfall section, which I talked about before, but I just want to emphasize that I do actually like this. The water is a lot more murkier. Um, I guess, again, that's the aesthetic they're going for. I don't know if I prefer it or not, but I do love seeing the flowing water look so nice. Um, but again, up at the skybox, why isn't that more red? You know, that that's just, that's the, that's the, the takeaway from this. Um, but, you know, guys, I want you guys to give your opinions as well. I really, I mean, obviously, I mean, that, that's the, that's a given. I talk about stuff and then you guys talk about stuff. But I do want to let you guys, I do want you guys to be honest about what you think. Um, because I think, yeah, they can absolutely improve on stuff. But at the same time, I think that, you know, still doing a good job overall. I like this. I, I just love vibrant greens like this, though. That, that, this to me, they've got this right. And the enemies as well, the way that uh, he sort of bonks into the enemies is excellent. Like, look at that. Boom, the shield goes flying and then it lands and then disappears and then oh look at him this guy absolute harasser but we're going to take him down and then he bounces on his ass and then poofs into oblivion so yeah again as i've said about this thing oh look at the vases over the side there i thought i'd give you a quick little look at that all right um yeah make it more illuminated like that section there basically as i've now said for the third time i don't want to repeat myself too much i'm uh yeah oh you see he looks like he hit his head at the top there when you slow stuff down it actually makes things look pretty cool yeah. Oh, there you go. The desperation. Zoe. No. Original Zoe is original Zoe is just flat out better. Sorry. That is sorry, not sorry. Never forget the original Zoe. Um 
she's babe. Yeah, there you go. And cool. Then, of course, looking at the view here. Oh, we can see like the sun. Yeah, see the sun like pop through or something like that from there. Yeah. I just want to keep showing off the skybox because, yeah, it, it almost feels like this would almost fit the other level more. Um, now, here's the final little bit I wanted to sort of go over the final section of the level. Um, unfortunately, you can't see much of it, and I've just talked over it and I didn't even get to analyze it, but whatever. The point is, it's cool. Then, supercharged power ups as well. This is what it looks like. The gates are a lot bigger. They feel a lot more menacing and, and just tall and stuff like that. But you know what? Uh, I am I'm not against it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you for enjoying this, uh, you know, quickly made fun little video. I can't believe we got Spyro 2 footage. I still think we're going to be getting more, uh, particularly a trailer. But thank you so much to PlayStation Underground and, uh, you know, Toys for Bob and everyone for releasing some footage. Finally, we have uh, placated people for the next 10 and a half seconds. Um, but after that, we'll be... Uh, pining for some more footage. Thank you guys for your support. I genuinely do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please go and subscribe and uh, leave a like if you want or a dislike if you didn't. But uh, if you do that, I'll find you and hunt you down and it will not end well. Um, it won't end in death or anything like that. It'll just, it just won't end well. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.